Look who I stumbled into here in Times Square. Back now with Clive Owen. He is starring in the new movie, The Confirmation. It's about a father and son weekend that turns into quite an adventure, and it all starts with a search for some of his stolen tools. Take a look. He might know who would steal tools like yours. Was he a cop? No, a uh, thief. But he's a good guy now. Better than most. Better than most thieves or better than most guys? Thieves. But he's a good guy now. He found Jesus. Well, if he found Jesus, maybe he can find my tools. <laughs> I watched the movie last night. It is so powerful to watch you, your character, struggling as a human being, struggling as a father. Tell me about Walt. Um, well, I, I play a, a father who's estranged from his boy and takes him for the weekend and gets his toolkit stolen. We spend the weekend trying to track it down. And while you're struggling with some big demons. While I'm struggling with my own demons. And uh, we meet a whole host of crazy characters and have a crazy weekend, but really during all that time we're bonding as a father and son. Yeah. Yeah. Jaden Lieberer, who we actually had the pleasure of meeting, I interviewed him last week, oh, he plays is your son. He is incredible, and watching the two of you, it was it looked like it was instant chemistry. I, I had one of the best times with that kid. He's such a phenomenal young actor, and he's a lovely guy as well. I know you're a father, but what is it like playing opposite a 12-year-old? I mean, I imagine you have to take out, speaking of tools, some different tools in your acting I, belt. I love working with kids, actually. I think it opens you up and makes you a better actor because they're so kind of open and instinctive. I had a great time with it. What do you hope moviegoers take away from this movie? At the end, it really is about connection. It is about family and getting through the tough it's times. A father, you know, he's an estranged father. We live in a time where there's lots of very fractured families where maybe dads don't see enough of their kids. And it's about, you know, somebody trying to become a better father and a better person. Well, and, and you do that in so many ways on screen and off screen. I know that you are really involved with your charity, um, Free the Children, and you have two young daughters. They're involved as well. Tell me about the organization and why it's so important to you. Well, my eldest daughter, Hannah, went on a trip to Kenya on her own when she was 14 for two and a half weeks, and it kind of changed her life. She became very involved with the charity, and we as a family got very involved as well, and we've done family trips to Africa and are big supporters of the charity. Yeah. It's fantastic. And I, I also hear you're you're losing the mustache because the second season was your final season of The Nick, and now you've got two sci-fi movies coming out? Yeah, it's true, actually, yeah. Weirdly, I've gone from 100 years ago to I've jumped to the future. I'm shaving the mustache is the first thing I do the minute we wrap the last scene, <laughs> believe me. And it's me. never coming back? Not, not, not if I can help it. <laughs> Are you a big sci-fi fan? Um, yeah, if it's good, yeah, for if sure. It's good. Well, yeah. it's good if you're in it. Clive Owen, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate it. Thank you. And the confirmation is in select theaters and on demand tomorrow.